Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we are back in Spintire's Mudrunner on PC with another mod that I really really like. It was one of my personal favorites from the first game and this is Banks's uh, F350 I believe. I, it's, I don't think it's an F250, I believe it's an F350. But regardless, and I think the thing is, you know, if it, if it is an F250 and not an F350, I do apologize for that. But for some reason, currently, it slipped my mind on which one it was. But there's only three upgrades that you can do to this truck. There's the light bar, then the rack, and the tools. That's why I didn't start in the garage, because there's not really that much to go over in the garage. But um, even so, uh, with those being the only real upgrades you can do, uh, it's still a really, really cool truck. Now, in my personal opinion, for it to really be on, like, a level that is... Uh, that is really usable in, in, in Mudrunner. I mean, right now, it's a really, really good scout vehicle. Like, it's an amazing scout vehicle. Absolutely amazing. Don't get me wrong on that. But what I think it needs is it needs trailer options. Um, especially if it had a gooseneck, that would be awesome. If it had a gooseneck or even like, you know, even like, like a bumper uh, hitch trailer, that would be awesome because we would be able to use that to tow other vehicles around, tow, you know, tow tractors and log skidders, and stuff like that. I mean, right now you got, you know, fuel and welding tools and stuff in the back. But even with that stuff, I mean, you, like, with that stuff, you have the, let me go into advanced mode real quick. So you have um, 5,000 repair points that you carry in the back, which is actually really, really cool because it kind of makes it, like, kind of makes it like you actually have a welding rig back there and you can actually go around and fix stuff, which is really cool. Um, and then you also have the fuel, which you need to actually, you know, go to a fuel station to load that up. But it's a really, really capable truck off-road. It really does well in terms of climbing and crawling and stuff like that. It's no buggy, certainly, but for being a big, massive, full-size, you know, that carries fuel and welding gear in the back, uh, it's totally respectable. Totally, totally, totally respectable. So let me put the e-brake on and put her in low three and see what kind of crawling we can do right here. I don't really know how deep this is. So, oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. There she goes. Oh, yeah, this thing climbs, man. This thing climbs really well. Now, considering the fact also that you do start with a bit of a low uh, fuel level, um, you may want to sort that out once you actually find a fuel station. But the thing is, you have 2,500 usable, like, liters of fuel that you can fill into this truck, which is a massive massive amount for any spin tires vehicle so if you think about that like 2500 liters of fuel you fill this thing up and probably won't need to fill it up again for the length of a game i uh, like really if you think about it you're not going to need to fill this thing up again for the length of an entire game which is kind of nice because then you can just fill it up and just run it around fix trucks rescue stuff um that's the other thing that this thing is really useful for is rescuing um but Oh, God. It does like to rock glitch occasionally, which, I mean, you kind of have to accept the reality of the rock glitch. Um, it's going to happen. It's been around since the first spin tires, and it's back again in Mudrunner. So, it's definitely not something that is going away anytime soon, or at least not something I think would be going away anytime soon. But when you, when you put it in high, this thing absolutely rips, man. It absolutely, absolutely rips. And one of the big things that I think, uh, or that I like about it is the fact that it can pretty much go wherever, right? Like, it doesn't have issues with... It doesn't have issues with rocks, but it doesn't have issues with mud either. And that's a really rare thing because a lot of these trucks will be really good at one thing and terrible at something else. Whereas this one is pretty much good at everything. I also want a log trailer option for this truck. I think if we had that, that would be so cool. Um, it does not have an interior camera option, which... Is kind of, you know, it's okay. I get why it doesn't have one. But at the same time, it's kind of one of those things where in Mudrunner, you start to get used to having that interior camera, and you're, and you're like, oh, I want to go to the interior cam. And then it's like, oh, yeah, sorry. That's off limits and unavailable. So it's kind of like, it kind of bums you out a little bit. But, I mean, it's like you get over it, but at the same time, you're like, oh, man, I wish I had that. Now, real quick, I want to see how it does if I try to, like, flex it up up a tree. Uh, it doesn't really, I don't think it's gonna like it, because it's got a big bumper in the front, and like, it's gonna, oh boy, oh boy, okay, I mean, it kind of, it went up just a little bit, but it was a little weird, because it goes, it went up, and then it was like, yeah, uh, I'm gonna slide down now, I'm done, <laughs> I'm gonna slide down, I'm done, nothing to worry about.
Oh, God. Let's see. Where are we... God, where are we even going? I, I don't really I don't really know this map outside of the normal logging areas because I, I beat this map really quickly. I was like, yep, I want to just get this map done, not think about it. Just, you know, I did the logging route and then that was that. There's so much of this map, uh, the map island, that I have not explored at all. So that's why I'm kind of like, ooh, uh, where am I? Is that another... Well, okay, so it's another, like, lookout tower, but it's not a watch point. Like... Sometimes, oh wait, yeah, never mind, it is. They, they normally always are. I was like, where's the watch point? Like, because I saw it, and I was like, where's your watch point, bro? I do really want to turn visual damage off, because that's the thing, is like, the suspension damage from the first game is back, but the problem is, it, like, if you damage the suspension, it also, like, shows up as physical damage on the truck, and it kind of sucks to see it, so, oh god. I was like, I'm gonna back up. <laughs> I'm just gonna back up and then go around the side. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, find your grip, man. There she goes. Oh yes. Oh, I got an achievement too. I don't know what I got it, like, got an achievement for, but... I mean, a climber, so I'm assuming, like, you know, climbing or rock crawling or whatever, but... Oh, yep, the notorious rock glitch. Freaking strikes again. Alright, uh... So there's two, like, well, actually, sorry, like, three kind of volcano-style things on this map. Let's recover it to the garage. And then from here, kind of want to map something out or, like, figure out how to... Okay, so go straight, basically. Like, go to the left and then go straight. Storm through the freaking mud and water. Like, see, that's what I love about it. It just absolutely eats up this, like, you know, the mud and the muddy water and, like, anything like that. It just destroys it, dude. Absolutely freaking destroys it. If I can put it in... Yeah, there we go. I was like, I'm gonna put it in automatic. God, I wonder if the gate's gonna open quick enough for us. Oh, just barely. Just barely fast enough for us to make it through. God. And then this is the one that we haven't climbed yet. And honestly, we can probably just leave it in automatic mode and it'll keep it in fourth. Or put it in high and not even have to think about it. Oh, yes. Dude, look at that. It just freaking climbs with no issue at... Oh, God. I was like, with no issue at all, it just climbs. Dude. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. I mean, we've climbed all three of these little mountains so far. This one, I think, being the... Oh, God. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, God. All right. Yep, rock glitch time. That... Whoop. <laughs> I think it's just the way that the modded vehicles, like, have their tires made or something. How deep is this? Pretty deep? Oh, God. Yeah, pretty deep. Pretty deep. <laughs> pretty deep. Okay, well, the truck is now down at the bottom of, like, a flooded volcano, and I think it might be staying there for the time being. But, um, if you guys enjoyed this mod review, which, by the way, if you guys have Mud Runner and you want a really good scout truck and a good repair truck, this thing is absolutely 100% the way to go. So, um, make sure you check it out. Make sure you give it a download. Um, Banks makes awesome mods, and I'll see y'all next time. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all later.